Hi love, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a ferry coming in over there. Um, the trip tomorrow um, will be a ferry trip over to an island over there and back. Um, and like today's trip, it actually is working out cheaper to actually go on a tour than if I were to actually go to the ferry dock and, and do my own thing. And the same with the bus today, it's actually cheaper to go on a tour. And, and plus, like tomorrow I get lunch as well, not today. And then there's the benefits of the guide and it makes other stops. And all in all, it, it's just a better de deal. Um, so that's why, well, the other reason I, I, I switched rooms. Um, you can see none of the beaches on Tenerife have particularly white sand. It's kind of, I don't know if you can see that kind of browny color, um, sometimes darker than that. And that's because of the, the volcano, no doubt. Um, but, you know, all in all, I can see the attraction of this kind of thing. Um, a lot of golf at this end of the island. A lot of places like the ones down below where people can kind of have a pint for less than a euro. And just, it's all you know pleasant uh, there's quite a few mobility scooters around actually um, some of the people on those mo mobility scooters don't actually look as though they actually need them uh, and they, they've just rented them just to sort of get around a little quicker I guess that's some sort of Swedish church next to us which explains the people down there but all in all it's pleasant I mean there's a lot of bored people I often see people just you know sitting down there like you know like looking at each other with like you know not with stars in their eyes with like you know like like they're bored um, but, you know, some people like that sort of thing, I suppose. It's a reasonably nice place to uh, relax. Um, if you look on a map, we're only about 100 kilometers from Morocco. There used to be a ferry from Morocco that used to come to one of these islands. Um, there have been problems before with um, migrants or refugees turning up dead on some of the beaches in the Canary Islands and there'd be photographs of you know people sunbathing and like 100, 150 yards away there'd be dead people being removed by the police that kind of thing was going on whereas now most of that stuff is is the uh, the Greek islands um, I'm not sure about the history of this place um, in, in, uh, in Morocco up on the north coast there are two Spanish enclaves Ceuta and Melilla I can remember once the King of Spain was visiting one or both of them and the Moroccans weren't too happy about it so I don't know if M Morocco actually has a claim to some of this stuff. Also along that North African coast there's about six or seven um, Spanish enclaves and they're all tiny. One of them is like, it's almost just like a rock with some buildings on it that's literally about a hundred yards from the beach and at low tide there's a causeway that walks out to it you can walk out to it and the high tide that's covered but it's that close to the beach really about a hundred yards and it's got the spanish flag flying and it's it's really weird and there's a few places like that actually it's kind of odd in fact a few years ago there was a problem with one of them i think in english it's called parsley island and there was some sort of uh, incident um about that um this also is because of the cheap beer that tends to attract a certain element of, of people normally in their late teens, early 20s that just want to come go, come here and go and get drunk. Maybe that doesn't happen so much on this part of the island but more a few miles over. And uh, a lot of those people that do that are of course girls. Girls for the most part seem to think that they can hold beer and lager as well as guys but of course they can't. And there's been all sorts of problems with, you know, girls falling over in the middle of the street and waking up in strange rooms and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. All right. Love you lots. Bye-bye.